Hi, and welcome to Tumba Rumba. Tumba Rumba is an artwork in the form of a browser extension. I've gone ahead and downloaded and installed it, so I'm ready to give you a demonstration. Let me start by saying it's in the form of an anthology of 12 short stories by a variety of authors. And the idea is for text from these short stories to occasionally and subtly intrude on a web page's text and give the reader a surreal experience. I've gone ahead and find a couple of places where this is happening. Uh, at least on my computer. On another computer it would happen in different places. But nevertheless, uh, the first is on the BBC News website. And if I scroll down to the fourth paragraph, it says, The Upper Paleolithic, roughly 10,000 to 40,000 years ago, is the period during which humans made the transition from functional tool making to art without having to worry about chasing the kids. Uh, when I read that, it doesn't sound quite right. I'm a little suspicious, so I'm going to roll my cursor over that phrase. And sure enough, the cursor changed to a pointer cursor. And that's a clue to me that this is actually the effect of the Tumbarumba add-on. And what's happening is the add-on is grafting half of a sentence from a short story to half of the sentence uh, from the web page. And, and they're connected by a word they have in common. If I click on this text, uh, more text from the short story appear. And if I continue clicking, eventually the web page's text will disappear and be replaced by the entire short story text. And the short story will be formatted using the uh, format of that web page. Uh, additionally, the photographs on this web page have been replaced by ones from Flickr.com that had been selected using a keyword search from words from the short story. So that's basically what the extension does. Let's, let's for just for good measure, take a look at one more web page. Uh, this one we're going to go to Wikipedia and look at the article uh, on rice wine. If we look at the second paragraph, uh, it reads, rice brew typically has a higher alcohol content, 18 to 25 percent, than wine, vomit, phlegm, and feces. So either this is an article that's been vandalized or this is the effect of uh, Tumbarumba. So I'm going to roll over my cursor and it does indeed change to a pointer cursor and as I click I see more of the short story come in until finally it comes in entirely. Uh, perhaps I wanted to read that uh, article. I didn't uh, actually want to read this very fine short story by uh, Heather Shaw. If that's the case I can come up to the Tumbarumba menu and I have a few uh, choices here and one of them is disabled Tumbarumba on this page and when I select that the short story disappears and the um, article comes back and when it comes back it doesn't even have that little bit of intrusion that was there before. I and mean, this is a way that the reader can be assured that they're reading the actual text and nothing that's been manipulated. Uh, additionally, the reader could disable Tumbarumba altogether uh, from the same menu. Another choice from the menu is the table of contents. And when that's selected, that takes us back to the Tumbarumba website and we can now see in the list of short stories the two stories that we have uncovered are now ungrayed out, and uh, if we click on one, it will return us to that short story. So that pretty much wraps up my demonstration. Thank you for your time, and I hope you try out Tumbarumba and enjoy it.